Okay, uh, I, here I have an image that uh, is a picture of the landscape with some uh, mountains in the background. And it apparently it was taken on a real hazy, hazy day. I don't know how many pictures I've taken like this. And uh, I'll show you a technique that I use a lot when I get a picture like this and I need to cut through the haze. Now, there are, there are a lot of methods of doing this. This is just one technique. Uh, this is, happens to be the one that I like the best. Okay, so I'm going to begin by creating a duplicate copy of the background, Control-J. And now the next thing I'm going to do is go into image mode. And I'm going to convert this from RGB to lab color. And I'm not going to flatten. Okay. Now I need to go into my curves dialog box. And if your curves dialog box looks like this, a 4x4 four four grid, uh, you want to convert it into a 10x10 10 10 grid by holding down the Alt key and just clicking on the, in the grid area. And the first thing we're going to deal, deal with is the lightness area. So let me highlight that here and come back into the curve so we can see what we're doing here. And I'm going to do what they call a typical S curve uh, adjustment. And all this does is bring, bring up the uh, Highlights and uh, lowers the the, sh the shadows uh, to, to give you a real high contrast uh, uh, image. Okay, so next thing I want to do is I'm going to go back into um, the lab. Next thing I want to do is go back into the uh, curves dialog box. And this time I'm going to deal with the A and B channels. And I've, sh I've shown this method in uh, some other tutorials. We're just going to bring this uh, point over two squares. Bring this bottom point over two squares. And now we'll do the same thing in the B channel. Okay, now we can do some fine adjustment, fine tuning. It looks a little too blue here. So I'm going to take away some of that blue. Going to add a little more here. And let's see what we can do in the A channel. Let me bring this in here. Okay, that looks good right there. All right, this was our before and that's our after. Definitely uh, a lot more contrast and th there's less haze in, in this too also. Next thing you need to do is go back up to your mode and you want to convert that back to an RGB uh, image and don't flatten. Now, from here you take it and you're going to do something with the sky. The whole idea and the whole purpose behind this tutorial was to show you a method to get rid of that haze. And you can see the haze in the in the sky and in the uh, in the background here. And that haze is more or less lifted. So here, um, the first thing I would do in this is, of of course, I, I would have to bring up some of the uh, uh, midtones in this. Uh, if I was going to continue to work on that. But anyway, still looks better. All right, so that's it. Thank you.